sense of camaraderie amongst you guys, as I said when I was up on the, um, on the ring, that it's obvious, just looking down upon you. And that's, it's, it's not dissimilar to athletic teams, it's not dissimilar to guys that uh, are in combat together, that train together, and the, um, the um, and for those of you that have never been punched in the face before, You've now been punched in the face, uh, and uh, cold, call, cold calling isn't that hard. It just isn't. <laughs> it just isn't. And the, um, so you all did well, and uh, you all, you know, you, you, you participated. And so what's the takeaway from you guys that were, you know, in the thick of it? Just fucking do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, um, by Paul's expectations appear Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, some of you that have some ring experience, um, the um, uh, understood th it better, yeah. but uh, big guys uh, that weigh you know 200 plus hit harder, and you can just see by the you know when the, when the heavyweight guys were in there, they um, it's like when uh, the one guy uh, punched the one guy in the stomach, you punched the guy in the stomach, and he flew into me. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that that was 240 pounds. He happened to get the right leverage. And I mean, in full blast, the guy came falling into me, and all I thought is my fucking knees. <laughs> my fucking knees. You know, Sally says, don't get too close, you're going to hurt your fucking knees. Anyway, but I'm okay. So, um, and, 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 the, and the, the smaller guys, you know, were fighting with real ferocity. What else, what other takeaway from you guys? So I got to know Tony a lot better than I would have just sitting there next to Yeah. So now I have something to talk to him about. Yeah. And the um, I think even uh, you know, as some of us, we got into fights when we were little, and at some point, it, there was still a little bit of uncomfortable feeling, you know, uh, going in the ring, but it's just uh, it's over, and like the, you adjust to it, you know, it's false expectations appearing real, and um, the um, it's it's. Uh, it's not that big. It's not that big a deal. It just isn't. Yeah. Uh, but it's easy to talk about it. But when you're actually they do it, uh, it's a it's a completely different thing. And the um, what else from anybody? Yes, sir. Uh, was there was everybody in the audience nervous to get up there at first? And then when you got in there, was was, was did you feel a release? Like uh, definitely you know, after out the window, you're easy to yeah, after, after it ends, yeah. That's how yeah. It's to go yeah, and it's natural. And I told you that when I uh, attended the Mike Tyson, when he won the championship from whoever he won it from, and we're in Vegas, and the guy, you could see fear, not nervousness, fear in the other guy's eyes. And of course, and then Tyson knocked him out, and the, uh, the rest is history. The, um, it is. But it's, you know, I've given you a couple of examples when I got in fights when I was a kid, and uh, that big guy got out of the car, I go, fuck. Did I, did, I thought right away, there used to be a saying, from my dad, your alligator mouth will overload your hummingbird ass someday. Okay? And boy, I felt that right. My asshole puckered up, and I said, boy, my big fucking mouth. And all my mate, my buddies, they were in the car screaming, let's kill them. When those fuckers got out of the car, and they were all bigger than us, I was alone out there. <laughs> and just by the grace of Allah, when I hit him, and he went down, and... But, uh, but I, I know that feeling. And when you go in for your first presentation, and you go in for your first um, a meeting with a, a, a motivated seller. And the first, now, by the time you get from the, the chairman, will be the most nervous. But by the time you get to the motivated seller, you've gone through a series of meetings. I mean, it's you know, it won't be fait accompli. It won't, but I mean, it'll be a lot less stress than if you were going to go right to the, the the motivated seller. And that's why you go through the dream team, and then you go to the accountants, which are not easy, but easier than the lawyers and. By the time you get to the bankers, and then you're making the bankers sweat by going through your your um, your template, and uh, and uh, the kids write it down on three by five cards, the, t uh, the speech before they go in, and then you know you put the card. Now you don't read from the card. We've had some guys that actually read from the card. And and, and what's the banking limit? And maybe, um, <laughs> you got to go in there like you know what you're talking about, or at least pretend that you know what you're talking about. What else about uh, the boxing? Time your punches. Pardon? Time your punches. Yeah. Well, you in the beginning you look like you were trying to time your punches, but until somebody hits you, you know this is all theory, dancing around, and then then <laughs> some, them, 
fucking hits you, or then you get knocked down, and a couple, three of you, uh, natural instinct, when you got them on the ground, uh, you wanted to jump on them then, and, and so, and when you hit them into the ropes, you want to, which is the way a street fight is. You don't let them up, but this is, you know, this is uh, more legitimate. Um, but, uh, and it's just like when Mike Tyson bit the ear off of uh, Evander Holyfield. You know, he was losing the fight, and, you know, in a street fight, you'd buy a guy's ear off, you know, so, and then that's what he did. And um, he tells the story much funnier than I do. Uh, of course, he did it, so, it, it, you know, he, it's direct action. But it's, it's a great tool. It's a great tool. And, the, um, and when you participate, we're going to do it more. Um, the, uh, but this group, as the last group um, that um, participated in the boxing, uh, this group, you know, we had uh, just about full participation, uh, and that's good. But we're not forcing you; know, we don't force you to do it. But um, the you you're not dying, and even in some of the cases where you were mismatched, uh, you didn't die from it. You might have thought you were dying when you get punched a few times, but uh, you're not, you're not dying from it. And the um, and you you all react you, you all reacted well. Y'all react well. I was proud of you. What else? Yes, sir. Yeah, the, the one slide, uh, the anxiety of fear is greater than fear itself. Absolutely. Absolutely. And even for the guys that know how to box a little. And for, the, and for those are the guys, the bigger guys that are strong. I mean, it's still, you never know. Some dipshit can clip you and I don't give a fuck how much well you're trained. And you go down like a ton of bricks. Now, the few times that I've been knocked out, Normally, it was somebody hit me with a uh, bar stool <coughs> from behind, or one time I got hit with a brick from behind, and the uh, so I can I can excuse those away, you know. But the times I was heads on and I got clipped and I went down like a fucking uh, fallen tree, it just you know it, if you hit in the right place and you catch them in the right place, you can just about knock anybody out. What else about? Um, your experience. I enjoy seeing the two big tubs of shit, the two big strong guys. The and you, you can just tell that when they hit, I mean, they hit hard. They hit hard. And I mismatched the weights last time, and I mismatched the um, the uh, experience factor. Uh, now, now for not this seminar, but I think the seminar after this next, we've got a Golden Gloves national champion <laughs> from America. And I don't believe, I know, I'd be very surprised if we got anybody to match, and he's a heavyweight. I mean, okay. So maybe we can put two in against him. Uh, or three, one to hold him by his arms. But uh, we've got uh, 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 Tom, uh, I believe, a box at Annapolis. Uh, I don't believe, I know he boxed in Annapolis. So he's looking forward to the hardcore, uh, the, um, uh, to box because we're going to box the hardcore as well, um, but it's it's a great experience and the uh, I, I remember the first time I got smacked, uh, not, not with a slap, and you still remember those things and you're going to remember this, and you ha you'll have something to, to bond with and the seminar will go better now. In hindsight, I should have done the boxing at the beginning of the last seminar, but it, I I wasn't sure. So I did it at the end, just in case it turned into fucking chaos, and I only had one more day for the seminar. Um, but um, we gave everybody fair warning, and although your weights changed a little uh, from what you registered from when you uh, ordered your kilt, we had some guys go up five, ten pounds, and we had a couple go down five pounds. But uh, it's a hell of an experience. It really is. And uh, I'm glad that uh, as many of you uh, participated. Any other questions about anything else? Who's my six? 6.30. Okay, tonight we eat in the pavilion, I believe. Tonight's steak night. Uh, for the, not, not for the uh, uh, vegans, the Indian, but it's, 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 for those eight of you that don't eat meat, everybody else, and I forget what we're gonna have. We'll have something uh, hopefully delectable uh, that you'll like. And the, um, and uh, we have another movie tonight. I think tonight's Steve Jobs, the second movie about Steve. And Lion speech. pardon? Steve Jobs. Who? Lion speech. Lion speech and Steve Jobs. And we're going to see the three role plays of Josh Kim and I 
together. No, no, tomorrow during the day. Because it's not scheduled at night, is it? No. Okay. And where you can see, because I, I only went a couple days ago by I'm talking about role playing until you see 100% the accurate, top of the line, best of best practices between Josh and I. And then when I did that, Josh, and you, you know, uh, if you're listening, I wasn't sure Josh was going to follow the format. So I got up with him praying that he followed the format, and he did. And so then when we were done filming, I said, good, we don't have to have a second take because he, he did it. And, um, and because I know the templates, the short templates work. I just absolutely fucking know they do. Okay, any other um, questions about anything else? And, um, okay, what time is it? Have we heard uh, the gym? Oh, um, nobody was late to, yes, the outer gym. Not the inner gym, the outer gym. There's two gyms. There's a gym, you walk right down that path, okay, there's a building on the right. Okay, it's the smaller of the two gyms because the, 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 well, not because, I don't have to say because, but the dogs are roaming around and I don't want anybody to get bit. So not the inner gym, but the outer gym. Yes, you do. You can. And, um, and I'm, not, I'm not forbidding you because some of the guys, because we're in the pavilion tonight, will uh, engage in fisticuffs in the ring. The, uh, and I have nothing to do with it. I'm washing my hands. Uh, but you know, in the uh, remember you signed the uh, the waiver, so if you hurt each other, but more people get hurt getting going in and out of the fucking ring. <laughs> you know, now I almost I almost fell. Like, the first time we did it, I almost fell, and I'm trying to be careful not to rip my suit and shit like that, and I almost slipped. And then this today I almost fell again, and I I hung on to the the upper ring. Yeah, the concussion. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, he didn't even he didn't, he was following your rules. He said that's the Okay, well the um, uh, okay, well check on him and uh, I I think it's probably nerves. I don't think it's it could be a concussion though. But um, anything else? What time is it? 5.15? Okay, uh, if there's no other questions, I'll see you guys tonight at dinner, and I'll see my 6 and 6.30, and then I'll see you for drinks and dinner in the pavilion, and the, uh, the, uh, it's casual uh, tonight. I mean, you could literally uh, put some long pants on, but you could literally, uh, pants or shorts or something, you can come like you're dressed now. You don't have to get all dressed up again. Okay? Very good. Okay. Yeah.